Uh, hello. Hi, how are you? So, um, I'm making this video for me and for the channel, obviously, just to cement and document uh, our progress and my hopes and dreams so that maybe one, one day, if I'm in trouble, I can look back and I can see what I was supposed to do, what I was, what I was meant to do, what I was thriving for, you know. So, Dead by Daylight, that's a fun game, right? Obviously. Um, it's, it has its issues. But there's some key principles that we have to keep in mind here. Uh, one, it's hard to balance something that is unbalanced. You know, you already have a 1v4 situation, so good luck with that. Um, the next start is build, learn, rebuild. Unfortunately, I think behavior, the creators of the game, are doing that. They are learning. I don't know if they're rebuilding it, necessarily, but they keep building and learning and building and learning. So that that that's something. Perks? I I think this one change, this one change, might help a lot. Now perks don't need tiers. To make it tiered game, it's basically play to win or pay to win. You know, like you you you're already discouraging new players. Okay, don't don't do that. Another idea I had was um. If if you want to keep that, if you want to keep the tier system, at least unlock. Just make it cost blood points to unlock the the perk on that character, but make it to where in game, like one of the perks will be a a a, a, a level one. The other one will be so yellow, green, and purple, and then the fourth one will be random. That, that's something. Uh, I think adding a variety of perks to both sides to um, kind of shake up the meta or inspire more builds or build variety would also help because the base kit of killer perks are barely used. So um, I think adding a perk that allows you to see survivors using an item in your area would be good. Uh... A perk that allows random pallets to be blocked permanently after a generator finishes. That'd be pretty cool. Because that could happen at any stage of the game. There's this really, really crazy one I was thinking about. Is adding a perk that makes all generators need repaired. Like all of them, all seven. And the killer can't see generators, hooks, or any interactive objects. And possibly make them slower. Yeah, let me see what I wrote down here. Oh yeah, or give the survivors extra hook states. So like, even though they have seven generators, they might have three hook states each or four hook states each. You know, it's like depending on how how the game would go. I think it'd be fair to put th uh, like a third hook state on everybody if they had to do all the gens. I don't know, something. Or make the killer, like, fast. I don't know. I don't know, something. Add a perk that spawns three generators with dangerous conditions that occasionally shock and injure survivors working on them. So this one was really, really interesting. So I thought, why not have another type of slowdown perk that rewards... People who want to sit on the gen, maybe doing a toolbox or something. It rewards killers for for not running ruin, you know, ruin and dying. It, it, it it's like I don't know. Like we need to shake things up. We need to shake things up. That's all I'm saying. And then add a perk that speeds you up after vaulting a window with no exhaustion, and then has like a thirty second, sixty second cooldown. 
that that way um newer killers can run shack easier uh it was once that pallet's gone it's it, it makes them use the pallet and leave shack that's what that's like no sense in running shack for like 10 minutes 20 minutes trying to get this one survivor you know some of those newer guys need to need to need a cool down or something survivor perks huh all right so add a perk that reveals the aura of killer tech so when the when the plague and vomits on something or you can see the vomit you know um victor traps hatchets um Possibly like a uh, the blight trail, just a bunch of random shit, just a bunch of stuff, you know, just all all little minor things that would give you some way of of just chilling out, you know. Uh, add a perk that when you are down, a nearby generator gets five or ten percent progress. So. There have been times where I've been running um, the super, super chill, no mither, uh, resilient, spine chill, you know, just a gen, gen buster build. Uh, and it was like 99 or something, or I've been, I haven't, I, honestly, I've done it many times without running that build. I would like sit on a gen and commit and 99 it. And then get hooked and die or something, but that, you know, it is what it is. You could add a perk that gives you endurance when unhooking while injured. So, like, maybe if you've got some selfish teammates or some lazy teammates, you can do that. I mean, they they added the, the boon circle of healing and stuff, so you can just heal in a corner or whatever you know there's 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 tons of ways to, to chill and relax but i think that one might inspire some some more impressive and, and healthy cool gameplay you know hands-on action uh you could add a perk that reduces the generator count by one but you die on the first hook so you could have four people that run this and everybody needs to get one gen done but they all are on death hook and possibly can be morried like i'm, I'm think i'm thinking that'd be really cool that'd be really cool it's it's kind of like no mither but better it, it almost gives the the idea of no mither a status and you know some some padding some strength um you could add a perk that gives you haste when a generator completes i think that'd be cool haste or like random buffs okay yeah yeah, yeah. that that that's what got me on this this hook so just adding perks that do random buffs when stuff happens designing perks just adding a ton of base perks to the tier and removing the tier system is it's that's all that really matters. Everyone can get everything on all their characters and they have plenty of choices, plenty of options. You maybe rework a shit ton of perks that that don't get used, you know, it's just stuff like that. Game design is hard. Minor adjustments and place testing is required for every game to thrive. The future is of games as a whole is phenomenal i love it it's great which has me thinking you know this dead by daylight and vhs and all that stuff like we need to make games we just need to make games because and we need to make good ones not cash grabs because the planet's dying or the people are dying we need we need life we need hope we need everything so making Good games for people to enjoy on our last last little little years on our you know it's gonna be good it's gonna be good so with that said that in mind everything out of the way I've been working on two D and three D game design and I'm thinking about hopping into three D game design classes and working on a uh, a little dbd project you know like a little bitty 
chase uh, very very basic very very simple visually but the game mechanics is where everything is is amazing and everything's clever and everything's cool because i want to show everybody that good game design is possible with a high complexity a high velocity atmosphere you know so I'll probably do some some YouTube walkthroughs and some 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 of this some of that. Uh, I've been been designing or playing around in Age of Empires two, definitive edition, making campaign levels or just playing around with the editor, you know, and it's a lot of fun. So I've I've been getting I've been getting in the game making mood, you know. So if you guys are interested in any of that. Keep an eye out. Alright. Much love. Mwah.